we are here today talking to Richard Kraft, who does not actually have a devil sitting on his shoulder. Well, it's I just... do, but that's a different issue. <laughs> but you need an angel for the other shoulder. This is true. You know what they'd be saying? Yeah, I... Get rid of the collection. Keep the collection. Get rid of the there collection. You go. Keep and, the collection. And actually, over here among them, we have kind of a little Christmas angel among your uh, your small world figures. So yes. we, could, we could get one on the other shoulder. Well, this is your collection that we've been looking at in photos. Yes. Uh, the first question that I'm sure everyone asks you, and we're going to ask, is when did you start collecting Disneyland memorabilia? 25 years ago, my brother David passed away, and I remembered our annual trips to Disneyland and how much happiness they created for me. And so I went to Disneyland, and hearing the sounds of this Swiss Family Oregon and seeing the lights on Main Street and tasting a Dole Whip and all these sensory things came back and reminded me so much of the times that I had with David. And then I heard there was an auction of some attraction posters and my first one was the Autopia because it was like the perfect depiction of an idealized father and son together and reminded me of my family being happy. And so I got that and then I'm really obsessive and then it turned into this collection. And, and so you, you actually were what I, I would term a rapid collector. Yes. Now you say you came to Disneyland as a child when you were young. Did you keep things from your childhood visits? The only thing I have from my childhood, which I no longer have, are some ticket books with A tickets left in them, mm -hmm. where I would try to convince my parents, let's go to Disneyland twice a year because we still have leftover A tickets. They never fell for it. <laughs> and. Um, I loved Disneyland as a kid. I loved, I would have the attraction map on our wall and we would treat it like a military operation because you had a limited number of tickets. So my brother and I would plan which attractions we were going to do and what paths we were going to take. So I always was a little Disney obsessive, but not anything that's like this craziness. And so I collected and collected and collected. My son, Nikki, who's now 28, grew up with, this was the furniture in his house. This Mr. Toad car is where we would just sit in the library and watch movies, and he'd be sitting behind the wheel watching. So once he moved off, went to college, started having his own life, walking around an empty nest that has Dumbo in it is really weird. So <laughs> I put everything in storage, I moved, and um, then I decided it was time to let it go. So you're, you're bringing it here now. Uh, when, when you went to that first auction, do you recall what was the first piece you bought? The first piece I bought was an Autopia poster. An Autopia poster. Mm -hmm. And is it here today? Yes, it is. And now I'm thinking of bidding on it. <laughs> it because you're at an auction. Yes. And it's the one thing maybe I shouldn't have let go because it was the beginning of it all. But it's also, I don't want to be the Steve Martin at the end of the jerk who's saying, I don't need anything. Except, except this chair, and except for my small world dolls, and it, it's endless. So it, and because a portion of the proceeds are going to charity, I it helps me psychologically of letting go. Because I'm an old dad, I have a four-year-old daughter with special needs, and so it, it means a lot to me that some of the proceeds of this are going to go to things that benefit other kids. And uh, one one. Last question about the collection itself before we talk just a little mm -hmm. bit about the sale. And that is, what do you consider to be the, possibly the rarest item that you have? I know you have so many, well, but... I don't know if it's the rarest, but the thing I think people respond to the most are the Honda Mansion stretch room paintings. Mm -hmm. We've spent our lives staring up at them, yes. but to see them at eye level is kind of yes, freaking indeed. weird. Yes, indeed. So just so we all know, uh, everything is going to go up for auction. And when is that happening? The exhibit goes from August 1st through August 26th. And the auction is the 25th and 26th. 25th and 26th. And we'll put the information up for that. Well, thank you, Richard, sure for, for, first of all, for collecting and saving all these things. Yes. And it's my job to curate them and keep them in good shape. Right. And, uh, and now for sharing them with the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be looking to see how the auction turns out. And uh, thank you. In some ways, the thing I care the most about is that people who love Disneyland get a chance. They have a month to see a free exhibit of all of this. And I it's like opening up my home. I just want people to enjoy it. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure thing.